season would be complete without a little werewolf hijinks. Well, gang, we're headed to jolly old England. Look, I get it. Hayop Kaw was deliberately self-aware and wanted to have fun with Filipino soap operas. But it was just meh to me. You getting that same sort of haunted vibe as I am? Wow. Huh? What? You getting that same sort of haunted vibe as I am? Wow. Huh? What? No! 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 I told you not to do that movie! I told you that we shouldn't find her in a death-like sleep! But you did it anyway! First she's Cinderella, then she's Snow White, now she's Sleeping Beauty?! What is the point of making this girl into all these different fairy tale princesses?! What? They didn't even show us that! We're just told! And like it matters anyway, cause it looks like they just nuked the aliens at the end. So what was the point? And why even time travel to discover this? Couldn't you all just read a history book instead? Aw yeah, we're totally gonna win the costume contest! She laughs until she then realizes this means there's no Santa Claus. Camelot? Like King Arthur, Merlin, Knights of the Round Table? We're standing on history! And how did they do this? Well, by making their own version of a James Bond intro. You know what that means? Silhouettes of sexy girls. <laughs> this does not work, especially for a kid's movie. It feels so sexually charged with all of the voluptuous ladies shaking their bodies across the screen. And mind you, one of these girls, the one in the glasses, is Sir Billy's daughter. I guess he's, uh, I guess he's cool with that. Uh, go up there, sweetie, and shake your crown for daddy. It looks like we have another mystery on our hands. No. She's blaming you for missing your chance. Put down your mm-hmm for a moment and go talk to her yourself. Bullshit! My Muppets would let their anger build up and then freak out on each other. Kermit would never do that. He's kind and nice and always gentle in a tough situation. You don't have to come in here and try to tell me about one of the You have done that to me too many times, but yeah, I will not stand for it. I will not stand for it. Of course it's an orange. I just told you it was an orange. Piggy, you are fired! You are fired! Piggy, you are fired! I think I've been emotionally scarred. You think that's bad? Check out their old coffee commercials. All right. Uh, I really don't think you're ready for that yet. <coughs> They're a little harsh. He always was a cut up. Okay, show me the text again. I just want to see it. <gasps> and that's what I call a super shaggy sandwich. <laughs> Off the bat, the plot is very confusing. What was the point of the future characters and setting? That was unnecessary and only created problems throughout the rest of the film. There were moments where we wouldn't see the future characters for upwards of 20 minutes. And when they did reappear, I was like, oh yeah, those guys are in the movie, aren't they? One, Lex was just fired. Why does Dingle need his opinion to sway the other elves? Two, is it really easier to relocate hundreds of elves to Fiji instead of just rebuilding their trashed factory? Three, and I can't stress this point enough, you have a magic ball that can make anything with a single thought! Why don't you just do that? We can't take the heat! Get out of the dragon's lair! We're gonna need some real magic to get us out of this one! <sighs> 
some of my viewers have suggested that I need to get my mind out of the gutter. But how can I when movies keep setting me up for jokes like this? Scooby-Doo, the sword and the scoop. Okay, so listen to this part closely. Now can we go? I am not sure what you heard, but this is what it sounded like to me. I forgot to bring my panties. Look for it on digital and DVD. Scooby-Dooby-Doo. <laughs> I didn't watch hentai all the time with Senpai. My soul is tormented by a sucky disc All of this cancel dripping from the way I spit Fell in love with 